We well, admitted to hospital in, on a two-night stay, Catherine. That was. And were you asked about your smoking status on your hospital admission? Yes. And how did you mind being asked about that? I didn't mind at all. You didn't mind at all. And how long have you smoked for? Since I was about 15. And how did you get into smoking at that age? Just with friends at school, really, just following the, the crowd mm -hmm. and just started from an odd one to regular mm -hmm. and, and then got worse. And have you smoked consecutively since you were 15 or have you had quit attempts before? I've had quit attempts, so two proper ones mm -hmm. and I did stop smoking for a good few years with both of them and I think it, going back on cigarettes it was like I joined darts so I was going out socialising mm -hmm. and that was one and I can't remember the other reason but I know that one of the times I started again was through just being back out and yeah. with people and which I shouldn't blame other people for. <laughs> <laughs> And did you use any nicotine replacement while during them quit attempts? No, or did I just, you use no. nothing? Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you feel like with this quit attempt it's been different because you have used nicotine replacement? Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's com completely yeah. different. And were you aware of the risks when you did start smoking no, at 15? No, not at all. No. And do you feel like you're aware of the risks now? Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you feel like your mindset probably would have been very different if you are aware of the risks back when you were 15? I think it would have been, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think when you're like 15 and at school, you think, oh, you get a smoker's cough. Mm -hmm. And that's basically all you would think of when yeah. I was 15. You don't realise of all the things that can cause you mm -hmm. now. All the long term yeah. effects, yeah. Mm. And what do you feel like your motivation was for quitting this time? The hospital admin. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind us asking, what were you in hospital for? Was it smoking related? It was, yeah. It was COPD. Mm -hmm. Some I can't remember the proper name of it, but it was an attack. And, and me sats were down to something like 70. Right. And I was on oxygen for like the three days, two nights, mm -hmm. and come home on the home hospital at home. And did you have to stay on oxygen for a period of time at home as well? About two days at home. Right, OK. Yeah. And a nebulizer as well. OK. So it will give you the your awareness It'll of... It gave us a real big fright and I realised how bad things were. Mm -hmm. and so I knew I had to do something drastically. To, mm -hmm. I wasn't going to go through that again. No. And during this quit attempt, you previously said that you are using nicotine replacement. Yeah, I had um, nicotine patches, mm -hmm. um, which I kept forgetting to put on. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of them in Hilly, and I, Hilly, I think, yeah. and I couldn't get away with that. So I just went on to a vape. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a range of different kinds of nicotine replacement, um, and it's finding what's best for you, mm -hmm. not one shoe fits all, as we say. Um, so the vape's currently what you're using at the it moment. Is, yeah. And are you feeling like that's working well? I feel it's working absolutely brilliantly. It's the no nicotine one That's as well. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. And how many weeks quit are you? Three. So you've done fantastic. Yeah. And are you engaging in any community services at the moment? The Northumberland Stop cigarette the smoke, people. Yeah. yeah. And are you seeing an advisor on a weekly basis? I've seen her for two weeks and next time it's miss a week and then another week. So. And Great. I think it's not this Friday, but next Friday I see her again. Mm -hmm. And she's actually trying to get us some no nicotine oil for me vapes. You've so. done amazing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And do you feel like that helps you even vaping with your cravings and preventing yeah, wanting a cigarette? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think it's, I don't know if it's the hand to mouth anymore. Yeah. I think it's just the hit of something. Mm -hmm. Like, it's hard to explain. Yeah. And, um, I do use it a lot through the day, but generally at night time, once I get settled in bed watching the telly, I forget about me 25 past seven one before I'm a deal. Because you're used to routine. Yeah, and like you have one before Coronation Street, and I, I pick my phone up and play a game or something. Yeah, and like a distraction yeah. technique. No, that's mm -hmm. great. So. And how do you feel now you are smoke free? I feel absolutely brilliant and it's only three weeks. That's great. Yeah. Are you seeing any difference in your health and or anything so soon yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can I can get to the toilet and back without 
losing my breath mm -hmm. like a few weeks ago. But um, no, I'm I'm out doing what I Good. was doing beforehand and that's fantastic. better with without losing my breath and. And do you have any tips for anyone in hospital who wants to stop smoking? Just basically stop before it gets too bad. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing to your body, and to body, but when you do know and you get that fright, it's a fright you'll not forget. Mm -hmm. And just try and stop or go on the vapes. Mm -hmm. The vapes aren't that bad. You can get loads of different flavours and everything. There's multiple yeah. option choices for mm, people. You can get nicotine ones, no nicotine mm -hmm. ones. And, and I think they're absolutely brilliant. Good. Mm. And would you re recommend seeing the tobacco dependency team if yes. you were ever an yes, inpatient definitely. again? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, like I say, if you don't need to see them every week, you have got details. You can yeah, of course. contact details. So, but no, I think everything's been good. Great. Thank you. Thank you.